Hey there, my name is James. I'm going to show you how to install Cache Footprint and the underlying SQL Server Express database. First thing we need to know is if your system is 32-bit or 64-bit. To find that out, we can click on the Windows Start button, go to Computer, right-click on Computer, and select Properties. That will bring up the System Properties window, and you'll be able to check the system type, which is either 32-bit or 64-bit. Once you've figured that out, go ahead and close the system properties. My system is 32-bit, so we're going to go to lothell.com and download Cache Footprint and SQL Server Express. Once you're at lothell.com, click on the Downloads page at the top and go scroll down underneath Products and download Cache Footprint setup for 1250 and then also download your corresponding SQL Server Express install. So I'm going to go ahead and download SQL Server Express 2008 R2 32-bit since my system is a 32-bit. I've already downloaded these files to the size. They are going to take a couple minutes to download. Um, something else to note is Windows XP. If you haven't done all of your Windows updates, then I recommend you download the Windows PowerShell as well. That way you have it handy should you need it for the installation of SQL Server Express. Okay, once we've downloaded all of the files, let's go ahead and start the installation. I'm going to open up Windows Explorer and go to my Downloads folder. And here are the two files that I downloaded. I'm going to install Cache Footprint first doesn't matter which order you do it in. I, I just chose to do Cache Footprint first. Um, you're going to get a user access warning. Go ahead and hit yes to allow it to install. And this is the WinZip self extractor. When you install from the CD, you will not see this screen. It will take you straight through the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and hit setup. And this is the screen that would pop up for the CD. So go ahead and hit accept. This is going to install Crystal Reports, which is the back end reporting tool that Cache Footprint uses. Okay, now that Crystal Reports has finished installing, you will be prompted with the Cache Footprint setup wizard. Go ahead and hit next and agree to the terms. Hit next. And if you feel like you need to, you can change the install folder. Uh, typically, you just leave it the same, hit next, and then click next one more time to start the installation of Cache Footprint. This installs only the point of sale software. We still need to install the back end database, so click close. And now we're going to start the back end database installation of SQL Server Express. Go ahead and double click on that install. It's going to extract all of the files needed for the installation. So let's go ahead and hit run on the security warning. And there it goes with the extraction. This install can take um, a few minutes. Uh, on slower systems, it can take anywhere from 10 to 15. I've seen it take 30 minutes or more, uh, depending on the speed of your system. Um, I'm going to put breaks in the video uh, for long pauses, but um, for the most part, it should only take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes the most. So I'll go ahead and OK to run this installation. There will be a number of progress screens that will pop up while SQL Server is doing its thing behind the scene. Okay, here's the installation center. Go ahead and hit new install. Alright, now we're prompted with the 
license agreement for SQL Server Express. Click Accept, hit Next. Just going to check for supporting files, dependencies, any other prerequisites for SQL Server Express. This is kind of where um, Windows XP will also check, uh, not this screen, but the next one. We'll check for uh, Windows PowerShell and it will prompt you with a message if it's not installed. Very simply, you would install Windows PowerShell and then there will be a rerun button in the upper right hand corner. You'll just click rerun and it'll go right through. Okay, now we're starting the actual feature selection, installation, uh, configuration for SQL Server Express. Here's all the different statuses as far as or states has you know where we're going to be with throughout the installation. Right now we're in feature selection, so um, in the install guide on our website, you can refer to those sections as well. Um, so what we're going to do for the, most of the installations, I just select all, hit next. This will install the database engine, management tools, and any other replication. So go ahead and hit next. Select all, hit next. Now we're going to give this server a name. We're going to call it Cache Footprint. Hit Next. Now we need to assign the service accounts and their startup types. The database engine is going to be set to automatic, so it's going to run when the computer starts. The server browser, however, is set to disabled. This needs to be set to automatic, otherwise Cache Footprint will not be able to find your server. So change that to automatic, then click the Use the Same Account button, and we're going to set both accounts to the account name NT Authority Network Service. There's no password, so click OK and then click Next. Okay, now we need to set the user access or authentication mode for your server. Click Mixed Mode and then type in the password which is in the install guide C4 dollar sign H capital F O zero capital P R one N7. Click Next. And we're not going to send any information to Microsoft. Click Next. And it's going to start the installation process. This can take, this is the longest piece of the installation. And it can, like I say, it can take up to 20, 30 minutes on slower systems. So be patient, and you will be prompted with a complete screen at the end.
All right, the whole install process for my system took about five minutes. Um, it is a microcomputer uh, from POSIX that we sell, so it's, uh, it's a pretty quick machine. Um, now that the install is complete, you'll see it completed successfully. Go ahead and click close. And then go ahead and close the install center. <coughs> Now both installations are complete, the database and cache footprint. Next thing we need to do is tell cache footprint where the database is. The first time you fire up cache footprint, you're going to get this connection not configured message. Now there are two ways to do this. The first way is to click basic and just select the server. The second way is to click advanced and specify the connection. I recommend clicking advanced, especially since we're doing it through a video and you can see exactly what I'm doing. This will allow you to configure not only this machine, but also if you have remote machines as well. So if you have five terminals or so, we have a client that has 30 terminals. So they would take each terminal, they would connect it the same way regardless. They would be able to use this video to connect all the machines. So go ahead and click on Advanced. Click on the ellipsis button to the right of the server name. This is going to list your server that we just installed. And there it is right there. <clears throat> POSIX W7 PC cache footprint. Click OK. And the database is going to be cache footprint as well. We're going to leave the authentication type. We're going to make sure that that is SQL Server authentication. The username is SA, and the password is the password from the install guide, or C4 dollar sign H, capital F, O, zero, T, P, capital P, R, one, and seven. And click connect. Cash footprint is now, um, behind the scenes, it's creating that cache footprint database on the server that we installed. It's then going to deploy all the objects with the database and bring us up to the login screen for cache footprint. At this point, everything is configured. Um, the best thing to do is to log in. Manager is the username and the password is password. You'll be prompted with the evaluation screen. You can choose professional or standard and then click evaluate. When you have decided that cash footprint is the application you're going to go with for your business, you can request your activation code by clicking this link. And then once you get your activation code back, you will click enter activation code to fill in the activation form exactly as you submitted it to us. And then you will activate the software. So for now, I'll just click start evaluation with the professional version. This is Cash Footprint. It's the main screen. The version and edition are down in the lower right hand corner. So if any of our staff asks you what version are you on, you'll be able to tell them. You can also find that information up in the Help and the About screen. Okay, and let's go ahead and close the program and we'll fire it up one more time. So just double click on the icon, it should bring you right to the login screen, such as this Manager is the username, password, and here's the activation, we'll click evaluate, and now you're in the application. That I believe is it for installing Catch Footprint. If you have any other questions, give us a call at 855-LOT-HILL, that's 855-568-4455. Or you can email us at product.support at lothill.com. You can also use the help menu within Cash Footprint to view the user manual, YouTube videos, online help desk, um, and then our, our social media websites as well. And there's a link to lothill.com right from Cash Footprint. So if you have any other questions, give us a call, shoot us an email, and we're more than happy to help you out.